criminals more than likely. Nothing like a bit of blood in battle make one feel alive. Oh, what is it now? Disgusting things. should explore more of the island that Cedrith Mora is on. I suppose I could do that now, considering I'm on the northern end of it. Well, this class dagger does seem to do a decent amount of damage. It does not seem to hold up very well. That's surprising. Interesting. That appears to be a skeleton down there. I will definitely have to check that out later. On the very northern tip of the island, too. How interesting. It's getting late. I should get back to the safety of the city. Council Hall. Did I want me to turn? No, Master Naloth himself wanted me to deliver the robe. Constant effect. Fortify intelligence, resist fire, and reflect. 25%. Mm. Abril would like to keep it for himself, considering how valuable it is. But then again, he doesn't want to risk incurring the wrath of Master Naloth by killing Thindo, retrieving the robe, and then not delivering it to him out of selfishness. That would be far too blatant for him to really be able to get away with. He certainly does not want to go upsetting all of the other masters at this point. It would not be in his interest to do so at all. does not want to find himself uh, on the wrong side of the wrong people. Greetings and salutations! So before he heads to the gateway into rest, he's actually going to drop by uh, his favorite alchemist shop. I could kill that guar. Those boots are ruined. <laughs> Let's see, I believe the frost salts are the cheapest things that I can combine with Comberry in order to create Restore Magicka potions, and I have 24 Comberry at this point. At least I believe that's the case. Let us look a little closer. Alright, I'll take four 
of those. Daedra hearts are, of course, too expensive. Ghoul hearts, fire salts, diamonds, Daedra heart, Daedra skin. Frostbolts, it will have to be. I suppose I can just sell some of the potions that I have that I really don't need. The various poisons I've made. I suppose I can use these fortified speed potions. Get me moving along a little faster than normal, which would actually be rather useful. bribe for ghosts is uh, good for business, isn't it? Of course it is. Alright. I want to be in good shape before I actually make some Restore Magicka potions. I made three of them. Seem like I can make anything else. Eat the script jelly. Okay. That's enough for now. Alright. He's been traveling for a long time without rest. He's been pretty much, uh, I think he's addicted to restore fatigue potions at this point, considering how easily he exhausts himself. He's in no rush to deliver this robe to Master Neloth. So, uh, I think that he is going to go rest at the Gateway Inn for the time being. He is interested in that skeleton that was he saw on the northern end of the island. He actually might want to explore that later. If there's a rogue necromancer on the island that he doesn't know about, it makes him curious. Hello, Aang. Welcome, friend. I feel as though I should know you. Any Why time do you now. approach? Yes, yes, you're all so talkative, aren't you? Any time now. Hello. Hmm, your rates are still absurd. Very well. Let us rest. Certainly been traveling a great deal today. 10 p.m. We'll rest 10 hours. Yeah. You have ascended to level 3. You realize that you are catching on to the secret of success. It's just a matter of concentration. Of course, increasing his intelligence. Hmm. I don't know why this is times 2, but it's... Speed, of course, is getting better. Times 3, I'll take advantage of that. Everything else is times 2. Hmm. Willpower. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Intelligence, willpower, and speed. Okay. His hit points and magicka grow. Oh. <laughs> what is it at this point? I think his magicka is like at least, let's see, 40. <laughs> wow. Five. Over six times as much magic as health. Well, that makes sense, considering that uh, a Brill for a, an Altmer, anyway, is actually extra yellow because uh, he has jaundice. Which is. Uh, the prey! Anytime now. Actually, a liver disease. There's too much bile 
in his blood, welcome to you. causing extra yellowing of his skin and eyes. His general discoverment, discomfort. He's a rather sallow and sickly fellow, and that uh, does tend to feed into his rather not only his thin frame but his foul temperament. Three blessings. And, uh, he's almost constantly in pain, and he easily fatigues. And considering how sharp his mind is and how active he wants to be. It's uh, part of the reason why he's so addicted so to, good to, see you. to anything. Restore fatigue potions or spells or whatever that uh, help him <laughs> overcome Three blessings, Sarah. body's own unfortunate limitations. So right now he's going to report to Master Naloth. He's going to take a shortcut and actually uh, use one of his levitate potions and go straight up to the top. Right to that doorway up there. Go in and speak to Master Naloth personally. Deliver this robe. Which he expresses interest in, but it's not worth it for him to be uncompliant. Not at this point, anyway. That's the entrance. Trapped locked doors. That is a pitfall. Speak, traveler. Which I'm going to save. Hopefully he can just kind of walk around the edge there. Not fall to his death. Which would be... Uh, unfortunate. There's...